to rookie coach to win multiple game NBA. sevens, yeah. heading to the NBA Something Finals like in his first year as the head coach of the Boston Celtics. You get a berth in the NBA Finals in your first year as a head coach. Um, how, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. It's been a long road, obviously, throughout this season. Uh, feels like it was always meant to be this way. Difficult, you know, obviously, two game sevens in, in the last two series. And, you know, shows what I said about our group, that we fought through a lot of adversity this year, a resilient group. And um, tonight seemed to kind of typify our season and had a 17-point lead. We led start to finish, so that was good. We got off to a good start, but can't ever quite slam the door, but have to grind it out. And uh, bottom line is if we hold somebody in the 90s, we feel good about ourselves. So this is a typical Celtics win. Ime, all year for you guys, it's over here, defense. You pile up, I believe it was 11 stops on 14 shots there midway through the fourth. What do you just see in this group when they're rolling at their highest level defensively? And then on Al, him being around all these guys, Brown, Tatum, Smart already, what do you see about the way they just responded to his leadership? Like, what just works for him as a leader for these guys? Yeah, first question, defense is our identity. It's It's been there and held held us, you know, got us through the tough times uh, when the offense wasn't clicking, games when the offense doesn't uh, click to the level it should, and we can always rely on that. And, uh, you know, that was the case tonight. Uh, got big leads, doodled it down, and we continued to get stops when we needed to, especially at the end, uh, you know, to, like to your point, 11 out of 14 possessions. And so that's our identity. It's kind of what we hang our hat on. And um, when you look at our team across the board, very high-level defenders, you know, first team, second team guy, defensive player of the year, all five starters getting a first-place vote. So um, they've all bought into that and uh, love them for that. You know, regarding Al, <clears throat> it's incredible what he's done all season. Uh, as I mentioned, came into training camp in extremely great shape, uh, chip on his shoulder, prideful, wanted to come back to Boston. And, you know, for him to play 44 minutes, you know, at this stage of his career and lay it all out there, Guarding big, smalls, and everything in between, um, you know, his leadership goes without saying. A vocal, a vocal guy, but uh, does a lot by example, and I think everybody kind of ties into him. Two, two things, Ime. First, you talked the past couple of days about having belief you guys would come in here and play the way you needed to to win. How, how impressed were you by the poise you guys showed throughout, you know, the first 46 minutes or so to not, you know, have the lapses mentally, the turnovers, the kind of stuff that's played you guys throughout the series? Yeah, it was great. It was uh, what we talked about the start of the game. We wanted to get off to a better start. Uh, you know, our magic number with turnovers has been 12 within the series. We got 13 tonight um, and then kept them off the offensive glass. So all the little things that we uh, talked about coming into it, we did really well. And that got us out to the lead, uh, played with extremely uh, fast pace early, 13 in the first quarter and 20 for the game, fast break points. And so we kind of hit all the targets that we wanted to and uh, guard the three-point line well, six for 30 as far as that. When it got close, it um, seemed like we were obviously up 17, 13, and kept getting down to single digits. Uh, we held our composure, never panicked. Guys made big shots, big plays, and uh, we defended at the level to get it back up. Although it would go back down at times, it's, it's a credit to the Heat team and Spolster and everything they're doing. Um, they're obviously, I come from a San Antonio atmosphere, culture, environment, and this is one of those teams that, um, you know, has the same thing going on here, a certain standard, no matter who's on the court. So we knew they were going to beat themselves, going to make it tough and going to fight till the end championship team. Uh, they got there last year. So credit to our guys for bouncing back from that, keeping our composure and, and finding a way to win it. And you, you mentioned how sort of in the theme of your season that nothing is ever easy. What was going through your mind when Jimmy went down and pulled up for that three with 17 to go? You know, he's been making big shots throughout this whole series, especially last game and in game one. I came out in attack mode, and, you know, we had defended him, you know, decent overall. I mean, he had a big first half, but we were much better in the second half, and, you know, he's just a guy that's made big shots and puts that team on the shoulder. So not surprised by anything he's done. Uh, played through pain and injury and as well as the rest of their team, and uh, we just came out a little bit more fresh tonight, and, and that's sometimes the luck of the series, luck of health and how it goes. Hey, Amy. Um you obviously had a vision for this team. You knew what you had, but they also had to buy in and get used to what you wanted them to do. Just getting to this point, just looking back on that, just how well did they do? Yeah, you can't complain. You can't get any better than number one in defense and where we were on the season. So that was always a pretty high level. and. When everybody figured it out and got on the same page, we took off defensively. Uh, had obviously 
several sustained games under 100 points and you know blowouts due to that. And then the offense started clicking later. Our guys understood what we were asking of them. Uh, had some chemistry up, up and downs early with the COVID and injuries and all that. But once they got on the same page, can't complain about anything. Obviously, to get to this point, we had to flip the switch and turn around in a lot of ways. And uh, guys were always receptive to coaching, to being coached hard, to being pushed, to being asked to do more. And yeah, that shows the character of our group. Uh, young guys that really want to be pushed to grow and take the next step. They've all been here. And to get to the championship is obviously the next step. But um, now our focus is getting forward more. Ime, uh, your first year coach leading your team to the finals. Do you, will you smile about this? You are a serious dude. You do not let your emotions at all. Will you let your emotions go at all? Will you just focus the Golden State? How will you kind of digest this? Because this is a lot. Yeah, I mean, you take it, take the task at hand seriously. And so before tonight, we're not thinking of Golden State or anything but getting this win and finishing out the series. Um, you can't help but smile and enjoy the moment out there on the court. Uh, it's kind of forced upon you and, and, you know, seeing the joy with the players and it's all about those guys. So, um, you know, I'm happy for them and obviously the accomplishment to get us all over the hump. I got spoiled my first two years in the league into back-to-back -back championships, but it's been a long time. You know, Ben Sullivan was there last year, so we can kind of talk about that. But um, for Jalen, Jason, Marcus, the guys that were here losing in some Eastern Conference Finals, it's great to see the joy on their face and that they have grown to this level um, where they're the veterans now that have to shoulder the load and could get us to this point. So happy for them, extremely happy for them. You smile about it as we're going through it and we're on the plane uh, focusing on Golden State now.